Good morning and welcome to the hills of Maplewood. All my friends, I have come out into this early morning hours into the hills of Maplewood, deep into the woods because it's windy out and I try to find some shelter so that we aren't uh, interrupted with the, the wind noise and such that sometimes can happen when you're videotaping like this. So this morning I uh, come out and uh, there's a beautiful sunrise that has come up and, and such, but I come to you with a heavy heart today. Um, over the past 24 to 48 hours, um, of course, we've all been watching the news as uh, we watch the Hurricane Ian move across the state of Florida and the devastation that it brought with it. The floodwaters and the high winds and the destruction, it's just, it's uh, sometimes overwhelming. And I cannot imagine the individuals that are living it and uh, are now dealing with the aftermath, the cleanup, the restoring of life to the best of their abilities in, uh, in such devastation. And so my heart goes out to, to those that uh, are living it, um, to those that are coming in and coming together to help restore power, to help uh, gather individuals back into uh, homes as cleanup starts to begin. So this morning I, I come with a Bible verse, um, one that is coming from Psalm 62. And I hope it's a verse that we can all um, cling to, especially those that struggle in, in tough times. Um, as we think about the individuals that are down in Florida, as we think about individuals in our own lives that, um, that have these struggles and such. So, hear these words from Psalm 62. For God alone, my soul waits in silence, for my hope is from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, and I shall not be shaken. On God rests my deliverance and my honor. My mighty rock, my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times. O oh, people, pour out your hearts before him. God is a refuge for us. God is a refuge for us. So as we hold in our hearts and in our prayers those that are struggling, not only in Florida, but in our lives, in our everyday lives, the things that we deal with, whether it be a natural disaster or whether it be an illness, whatever the case, God is our refuge. In Him, we need to place our trust. Because in all other places, things can falter. But God is always there for us. This morning, I just want to lift up a prayer for those individuals in the state of Florida that are trying to recover and will recover. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, on this day, we lift before you those individuals that have been devastated, their lives have been changed and turned upside down due to the floods and the high winds. May your presence be made known in them and through them. Give them that comfort and peace to know that you are our refuge. I pray this in your precious name and all God's people said, Amen. My friends, God's peace, God's blessings to you from the hills of Maplewood.
is my light, my strength, my song is cornerstone, is solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of Jesus commands my destiny.